Welcome to the handover video for the LD Supreme 155. Starting from the driver's side, behind the back wheels, you have the wastewater, which is the grey lever drain, and the freshwater drain, which is the blue lever. Pretty self explanatory. So, freshwater being blue, grey water, which is your wastewater, uh, being grey. Forward of that, once you fill up the water, you have an external. Uh, shower point plugs in just like that and then releases by pulling it back out just like that and then there is a little bung that just presses in just like that so that's your external shower point in front of that you've got some fridge vents we have some covers just in the van for these forward of that then we have your driver's area so it works off your main fob fridge vents are just located there we have the electric windows the mirror switches windscreen wipers on this side indicators and light on that side and you do have an adjuster for the column which is just located there underneath the tray here by just pulling that down you have a little bit of storage space and on the opposite one, you have your toolkit that's located there. Vehicles fitted with Remy's cab line. Simply pinched together and they will hold in place. Same for the front windows. And then nicely clip back in place just like that. Forward of that, we've got your front of the vehicle. The bonnet release catch on the Peugeot's. Similar to the Fiat, I look at it just there. And to open it up, you'll find that it's just located just underneath here by lifting up this little area here. The points for jumping, we always recommend that you go off the main battery, but here is your negative point. And then by using the end of your key, under that little compartment, just there is where your positive point is, the little metal plate there. Forward of that then, we've got diesel filler points and your add blue points. Gas or refillable systems, which were an extra on this particular one. Simply open up the bottles by twisting each bottle and this selects the bottle that you want by the little uh, notch in the dial there. To fill it up, simply remove that, put the filler nozzle on and that will fill it up. We always tell you to do this with the valves closed inside. Sometimes people tell you to do it with them open, but we tell you to do it closed. And that locks from transit. Behind that, we have got your access to the under storage area. And just in this area here, which I will show you, there is a little reset button for the heating system. I'll show you, or ring and ask for us uh, on collection, and I'll explain how that one works. Closes just like that. Rear of the vehicle, we've got the reverse camera, bike rack, toilet. The toilet lifts up, just with the handle. Open it out, twist the cap around, take off the grey top. Press the orange button, turn upside down to empty, clean it out, put the cap back on, twist it back in place and make sure it's sitting just nice and neat there. Your fresh water fills up here, just with a normal hose pipe. Here is where your leisure battery is located. Mains cable goes into a little point there and you behind that you have an external main socket, that's an out socket. And that just closes up just like that. The outside of the vehicle, we've got an awning and a aerial, and then we'll move in. To the vehicle itself. To close the door, simply press that, and to lock it, you lift up the little hatch. Next to the door is where you've got your 
awning winder and then you get to your main control panel so it's just located here and first of all you have a main master switch so turn the lights on and the power to the vehicle and the master must be on with the master switch turned on most of the other options are pretty self-explanatory so down for the one means that it's operating circle means that it's off so awning being awning light lights being the main lights inside the vehicle press and hold the water button and the gauge at the top will change to tell you what's in your fresh water tank pump it will illuminate to tell you that the water pumps on and tank heater for the winter period just there looking around the vehicle just in front of the bed we have got your main RCD breaker so here is your test button to make sure that you've got power in and it should trip that switch just like that lift it off and that will tell you that you've got mains power to the vehicle below that are all your fuses so if something's blown please check your fuses here and that's located just in a cupboard there the bed area lifts up under here the customer has chosen to add a few extras but you have your pump located at the back and the internals to where the battery is located plenty of storage again making sure that you're careful storing things around the electrical area and the pump area and then that simply just pulls down when you're not using it the cupboards above are a simple pull down on the little handle which operates a little fitting behind and you'll hear a click when it's in place plenty of storage around the bedroom area you have also got storage and light switches just underneath the back bed area customers added a TV and that's fitted just there it will swing round and look it and you have a spare main socket just located in the corner through into the bathroom area with the toilet in place you have a flush button which is a blue button there and an indicator to tell you when the toilet is full you must make sure that the blade valve that's the valve inside the toilet there is closed when you're trying to pull it out you close it by sliding the valve to the left to close it and the right to open it when it's full you'll have a little red indicator that tells you just there that it's full the sink unit remember to turn the tap to the side push that in press the button in the fittings in storage area are just like that and you've got your little plug for the sink area there make sure that they're pressed in place before traveling again you've got your toothbrush holder there toilet roll holder there and your shower screen is located just here and then that slides down just by releasing both the, the fitting at the top and the bottom and then magnetizers just there on that side to give you a shower area keeping your toilet area free of any water the door is lined and protected so that's how you will use the shower area you'll see the mixer taps just there and the shower hose just above you have a hanging rail and a ventilation point you open that by clipping that down and lifting it up just like that lift it back down to close it and that does also have a blind in there as well for the evening just clip it back in place make sure before you set off that the screen is folded in and you have locked both of the tabs just in place just like that yep. forward of that we've got another charging point and a USB charging point and a light switch just for the bedroom area oven we've got three gas and one electric they're all located just on the side there and they just ignite by turning the gas on and the igniter is just at the front of the unit here grill wise is operated just on this side you have a couple of different positions an oven 
Just on this side is a separate oven unit and that's located just below there. Below that in the cupboard underneath, again the push button is you've got your gas isolation points. There is also one in the underbed area. They're all in a usable position as they are at the moment, so please leave them in place unless told by a professional to change that position. To the left of that we've got some storage areas. Again, the one thing that you're making sure of here is that when you're setting off on your journey, put your pressure button in. So it wants to be on your checklist, then all them buttons before setting off are pressed in. Make sure that your glass lids down, but let the cool, let the rings cool down first of all. And again above, same idea. Make sure that they're all pressed in. So cup holders and plate holders that come in standard. Sink plug's just located there and your power for your microwave. Microwave is just located here and this will only work on mains electric. So please make sure that you're on mains electric otherwise this will not work. Forward of that in the over cab you've got your solar uh, regulator. Nothing you really need to do with here. There's a little box that it comes with and more storage in front of that. Storage just around the front and an opening roof light with a blind in there and pull it further you've got your flat screen again to the left hand side we've got more storage again on the passenger side and just here is where your Peugeot pack is and the black box with all the instructions eating wise the heating and the hot water is controlled from here so once you've filled up your fresh water tank you'll come to this little well uh, display here. The bottom button here tells you when it's off. So both the hot water and the heating is off at this point. Press it again, it gives you a one line. That's one kilowatt electric for your heating. Two kilowatt electric for your heating. Three kilowatt electric for your heating. Gas only. Gas and two kilowatt electric as your option. So decide which one you want and then just leave it in place. If you want to change the temperature, then you can move the temperature up or down with the down button, making it warmer or cooler. So, yeah. want to turn it off, just turn it to off. Your water works the same way, so press it to 1 kilowatt electric, 2 kilowatt electric, gas only, gas and 1 kilowatt, gas and 2 kilowatt. Or off if you've not got anything in it. Please don't run your hot water with no water in the system. Once you've uh, primed the system through, which you do once you've filled up your fresh water tank, by coming over to the tap in both the kitchen and the shower areas. Turn your tap over and then turn your tap to the red side. Allow it to, to flow with the pump turned on until you get a steady stream of water. You'll have air coming out initially, spitting and spurting, and that's just pulling the air through the actual whale boiler system. Once you've got a steady stream, then go to your heating system, select your water heater, and I'll let it heat up. This can take between 20 and 30 minutes to do that. When you're emptying it down, there is a frost uh, valve on there to drain it down, or you can simply run the pump to do that. Windows are all pretty much the same on the Eldis. Slide that back in place there. And they pull down and hook. Pull down and hook, and to open them, lift up the stays, just like that. Wind it out, and then turn the little screw, just to hold the window open. Yep. Release the screw. That will let you open to window, and then tighten it, and then pull, pull it tight, just like that, when you're moving off. They're exactly the same on the windows in both of the living areas and in the back areas. The roof lights all have a flash screen and a blind located on them and to open them you simply pull the handle down and slide it forward. Yeah, Pull the handle down to pull it back and that will ventilate it. The front one works even simpler by releasing the catches on either side and then lifting the bar and pushing it up. Pull it back down, 
make sure it locks in place and let the catches clip in place. This one simply winds to open it. The bed configuration, so in the lounge area you can have it just like that or alternatively I'll show you the option with the sheet. First option being to make up the bed area, so simply slide the two compartments together and then simply fold the cushions down to make a large second bed. For your travelling uh, companions then I'll show you how to do that. So, simply lift up the bed area, like so. On either side you'll see there's little clips here, which you just lift up. And then on either side, we'll fold it in just like that. And then lastly, you have the options just like that, underneath the grey covers, for your traveling passengers just behind here you have a drain valve as well for the heating system just to drain it down make sure that that is in the position that it is now to drain it and another isolation valve that's for the heater forward from that we've got your fridge so it's a selected fridge so in the position that it's at now it's off next position along is electric the next position along is fed from your vehicle battery, so this only works when the engine's running. Our last option is gas. To get your gas, you need to come to this side, press in the button, and press in the igniter, and you should see the little orange symbol move across into the green as it's doing at the moment. Once it's done that, release the buttons, and it will stay there and let you know that the gas is on for the fridge. So simply turn it back to electric, you will just flick that and you will see that that indicator has moved back to the white area. There is a light to tell you that it's on and you have a separate freezer compartment. To turn it off, turn it back to the top and that turns off your unit. The wardrobe area simply just opens on the magnets and your freestanding table is just located here. The aerial is located just up here and underneath the unit you have a little slide valve to turn it off and on. When the red light's on, that's telling you've got power to your aerial. That will allow you then to tune in your TV. This will need tuning in in the areas that you're at. Back of that, we have got your dividing area. That screens off the bedroom area from the living area. On a simple tambador just slides in place and then just make sure that you clip it just in place there seats wise they have adjusters just on the inside and back rest adjusters just by turning the screw to swivel the seat around you will need to move it forward and backwards you do that by lifting up that bar which is in front of the seat and then sliding it backwards and forwards just making sure with the drivers that you miss the handbrake cab wise we are fitted with air conditioning steering wheel controls a reversing camera which will here in a moment, just like that. CD, radio, glove box, and another glove box lower down there. Cup holders underneath the seat area here is where your engine battery is located. So should you need to get to the engine, it's that way. And the control just starts up with there. So, that concludes our instructional handover video for the Eldis. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please give us some feedback and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you.